No, shut up. No. Can you, can you shut your mouth for a minute? No. Because I actually work in the ghetto. I see the people. Do you know why I they're in that position? I see these people. Do you understand the systematic and historical reason for why they're in that position? When to stop talking about it? Um, when they make an arrest? No. When the case is dismissed? No. When the people in power make promises we know that they've never kept? No. When the news switches up because they only make money by selling new debt? I my picture. I really don't care. Okay. Because you don't belong in this development. Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Live I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you. you. I live here. I live here. Okay. Where do you live? Why would we tell you anything? Okay, well, I'm Rayshard Brooks, um, 27 years of age, uh, have three kids, you know, I'm happily married. Hey, y'all. I want to take a moment to talk about my last post on Instagram on the page where it says white people and there's this amazing girl speaking out, speaking her thoughts and feelings that she went to this committee meeting expecting just to listen so that she could gain knowledge. And in fact, she was so moved. She typed on her phone just a little bit of a speech so that she could say her, her, say her feelings and I have gotten a few interesting comments about people and their feelings and uh, it what I have to say is my platform is for me to express I'm a musician I express my music feelings I express what's going on in my life um, pictures those kind of things but right now in my country I sorry I deserve to have my right to speak my mind about things that I feel are positive and also that I feel are unjust and things that I stand for. And I don't mind if the comments aren't, yay, you're wonderful, you're great. I do understand how they feel. However, the negative, completely like, I feel very trolling comments, I will block them. I've never done that kind of thing, but also I'm being a little bit outside of my realm and I'm being more political and more vocal about things that I don't feel are right. So I understand my feed is different. It may be different for people. You have to understand my country is going through a huge, huge crisis. And if my followers do not understand, I have the right that when I feel a strong feeling about righteous equality and um, inappropriate behaviors and things like that, and then comments are, oh, I don't like what you did, and I'm not going to, I'm going to unfollow you. And I'm like, oh, all right. So I look at your page. You haven't unfollowed me after the comment. I'll block you because if that's what you feel, I don't need to have a conversation with you. I don't need to go back and forth and try to teach you where my brain is coming from. You know, I'm a strong woman. I'm 52 years old. I know what I know. I love what I love. If you don't love me back in that way, respect my feelings. Bye bye. Blocked. <sighs> Just an addendum to what's going on. I know we're dealing with a very strong movement against officers and police officers. And don't get me wrong. I know there's wonderful police officers out there. And I stand for those police officers risking their lives. However, our system is rigged and very, very corrupt because even the most wonderful officers are silenced because if they speak up, they get fired, they get harassed, they get threatened. And so for me, I'm speaking up for those officers and I'm also speaking up because the bad officers need to go. 
So I believe everything this young girl's saying. And that, I'm going to end on that note. Newly. I would like to excuse my pajamas. Not so sexy. <gasps>